Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. And in this video, it will be another tips for, you know, Entropia Universe though. I am playing Entropia like always I do. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I am going to give you a little bit of tips over crafting. I'm not sure whether if I have made talk about this guide already or not but uh, even if that's so then I would be like maybe repeating this is this would be second time I'm talking about that though so let's just you know get into the details shall we okay uh, first of all before we talk about tips I would like to explain about crafting first though there are two kinds of you know i think yeah in in blueprint there are two kinds of blueprint one is l version which is like this you know wetling wire blueprints pretty common one and it is really cheap 101 percent and there is another blueprint that is like unlimited time amount of clicking L version is limited amount of clicking let's say it said you know rem my remaining attempt 30 meaning that I could click only for like 30 clicks then it will be gone gone with the wind and in UL version it is not like that, you know. When you are, let's say, let's search for something like you are one. Yeah, when when you grab a low level, you know, blueprint like this, basic filter blueprint, you know, you can just get grab it from technician, and then it will be QR one, and you start to increasing a bit by a bit and then uh, you know QR rate increase the more QR rate increase success rate will increase that's how it work in UL version in L version it is a bit different you know there is no QR or quality rating or whatever you want to call that there is no quality rating in L version and whenever you max on this you know blueprint then it will be stay it will stay 95% that for like max you know it all depends on the skill you know if your skill is high enough then you can just grab it right away but for L, uh, UL version, it doesn't matter how high level you have, you still begin with uh, you know, 81%, this is 95% for L version, yeah? Let's say this one, SQR1, right? It is one here. It will begin at 81 doesn't matter what uh, what blueprint it is let's see other blueprint still this one also I am max on it 80% gosh let's see something cheaper lower I mean. this is this basic bearing no uh, this one then 85% uh, it's because I have a little bit of QR there already though so that's how it work in uh, you know crafting mechanism now let's talk about you no know, quality rating if you are about to craft you know for L version quality there's no quality rating right all you have to do is next level then you craft you know confidently you you have a confidence on that 
blueprint and then click on it. Duh. Gone. But for UL version, you have to build it way up to 95% yourself, either yourself or buy a QR 100 blueprint and click it like a boss. Okay, now it's the time to compare between QR1 and a QR100, especially for uh, UL blueprint. In you all may know that uh, quality rate rate of 100. I mean, QR100 blueprint always better yes it is always better but it's not really the end of the world that you don't have a QR100 blueprint because you know QR100 not everybody have that let's say you know you want to craft level 5 final amplifier there may be people that are trying to sell you are 100 maybe one two maybe ten percent now ten people have like one holding one each but uh, you know you could just start with one as well it is still profitable if you are doing great it's not really you know like hey it's not really profitable blah 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 no it is still good here is why uh, let me show you yeah let's say I am I have a explosive projectile to you are 100 right and I crafting it for 95% which is a maximum success which mean note that this is based on my thought again like i said always not always but from my last video i also said this is based on my experience and uh, my thought and yeah my tips also about return in crafting right 95 percent what happens when you craft you know blueprint at 95% you almost always never fail yes. there's a 5 chance you know 5% chance that you would fail that could be like you know 100k click you fail like 5 times yes it could happen and uh, most likely you will end up like 95% deviter sometime you have higher or lower that's for QR100, right? And let's say for QR1, let's just start with freshly new blueprints. Uh, not as good as QR100, of course, but <clears throat> compared to QR100, it is pretty cheap. You can just grab it from, you know, technician and start crafting. But how about the TT return? For me, I think it is still the same. TT return? How can you tell? How can I tell? Well, it is something like this. Let me stop. Something like this. This is quantity, right? I'm crafting uh, explosive EP2 at 95% right if it is QR1 then it would be around here sometime it will fail sometime it will you know get better TT but then fail more yeah a little bit more like maybe 10 fail rather than 5 fail in long run but then when you get uh, TT return then you will get a bigger volume like condition crafting you know yeah it is something like that that's what I thought but it's still good 
Well, QL1 still good, but in crafting, some blueprint need more success. Like, you know, this kind of blueprint, level 5 finder, amplifier. Because, you know, you don't really want residue. Of course not. You don't really want to fail a lot and then just boom, one time gave you a hoof or global or whatever. All you want is success. The more success rate you have in this kind of blueprint, uh, the more money you can make. Because, you know, every time you click, like one success, every time you have a success, then you could sell that M for like 203%, 20, uh, I mean 206 pet, TT plus 6 pet, TT plus 7 pet, sometimes I even I could even sell like TT plus 8 pet. Something like that. Each click, each success is like money, you know. So the more, the better QR. For this kind of BP, it is better. But it's not really the end of the world that if I if I don't have QR100, the TT return lower. No, TT return was still the same, but it will return as residue. That's what I don't like about you know this kind of BP. But for normal BP like you know explosive projectile. Even if the if if it is try if it is like you are one I don't care I just craft because it gave me residue and I use this resi residue to craft M so win win for me still sometimes lose I I I never could guarantee that it you will always win crafting but, you know EP sometimes could be you know gamble. I craft only level 2 because even if I lost I still could cover from my budget. Okay, I think I have talked a lot. And thank you Kai for visiting my video on my channel. If you think that these tips and this video helpful then smash the like button. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.